All right, so power up your SGP, and you're going to want to open up your focus control, and go ahead and set your points to six there, and then click on settings. Uh, now I went with what uh, SGP suggested, and that was to use eight second exposures. Change it to two by two bin. I'm going to leave my data points at nine. Obviously, I'm trying to figure out the step size. I'm not going to worry about the seconds for auto close, and again. Uh, six was just a default suggested by SGP. Then go down to your frame and focus, change that to two by two, and change it to eight seconds because you want to match what you're doing, and then click take one. Now when that pops up, go ahead up to the top bar there, click on the little star, which will bring up your HFR values. And now we want to look at a couple of things. First is to look at your current focus position. You're going to write that number down. And then go over to your image statistics and you're going to look for your half flux radius, which uh, at this point is going to be 2.23, I think it is, right there. And write that number down. So write down your current position and write down the current half flux radius. Now. In the SGP manual, it says that you want to have three to five times difference between the current setting uh, and where you want to take it out to. So you're going to take that 2.23 and then multiply that times, let's just say four. So 8.92. So I want, as I'm moving the focus out per the instructions, I want to go 8.92 or somewhere close there. So I'm going to set the course adjustment out. Uh, let's just shoot for like 200, 250 and kind of see where it goes. And uh, right there. All right. And then start looping and leave that star ticked on because it will continue to upload the HFRs. So while it's still in this, make sure you remember to um, don't check that half flux radius there immediately and then start making adjustments again. Uh, remember, you got an eight second download that's going on, or excuse me, an eight second exposure that's going on. So you want to give it time for the focuser to actually move and then for a new frame to be taken and then downloaded before you make another adjustment. It, if it happens in the middle, uh, which it's going to, it's going to occur, as it's looping, uh, you run the risk of getting a, a false number. So it doesn't hurt to just go ahead and let it roll, uh, maybe even twice. You know, so go ahead and make your movement out course. Let it take its eight, eight second exposure. And then when you're done, I would go ahead and actually let it roll, uh, take one more exposure so it's got a minute to kind of settle down. And then and that's and you're just gonna move yourself out. So, you know, you could take a big chunk. I wouldn't do like five hundred or something on your course out. Um, just from practice several times on this video. Uh, I knew that I could get away with two hundred, two fifty, one hundred, and then, you know, as I got closer and closer, then I started backing that number down. And you can even use the fine control out rather than the course. Uh, it, it's kind of up to you. You can adjust them either way. But as you're noticing, the, the stars obviously are coming out of focus and we're going out here rather than inward. And that's important to notate that you do want to go out, not in. Uh, and here again, you can do 50 course, 50 fine. It doesn't matter. Uh, but after you make that movement, just remember to at least let two exposures go by so that the Focuser is calmed down and there's no more movement and you get an, ac uh, an accurate reading there on your half flux radius. So uh, we still got a, a little bit more to go, like seven points. So we're trying to get up to eight, eight point something. What was it? Eight something. So yeah, there we go. 8.41. That's fine. And as you saw, remember, give it a minute to stop and take another picture just to make sure you're where you're at. So now write down the new current focuser position and take your current focuser position and then deduct from that the original focuser position. So that was 13,000, 
717. All right, that's going to give us 600. We're going to multiply that times 2. And we're going to get 1,200. We're going to divide that by the data points, which remember we set it as 9. So divide that by 9. It's so going to go 133 and then minus 1 equals 132.33. Now, i got to be honest, I don't know why you minus 1. I have no idea what the purpose is that for. It's just that's what the SGP manual says. So that's what we're going to do. So, okay. So at this point, uh, I'm going to go ahead and go back to the original focus position where I was in focus. So I'm just going to put go to 13,717, send it on back to where it was. There she goes. And uh, just bear in mind, guys, that you know you have to be in focus, really good focus before running this. So go back into your settings and on your uh, Step size there, I'm going to put in my value, 133. And then uh, let's just go ahead and hit run. Let's see what it does. Now, it, it's a real quick important note there I just touched on. SGP's manual says that for the autofocus to work properly, you have to be well within focus. They actually recommend that you even use a Botanov mask uh, first to get as close to focus as you possibly can and that uh, if you're not using that you know use the HFR method uh, on a loop like we were just doing a minute ago but blown up on the star so you can actually see it happening that's the only way that autofocus is really going to work it if you are completely ridiculously out of focus like you see in that last test shot and you let it roll, chances are it's not going to get to where it needs to be. You're going to want to wind up having problems. Also, too, if you have a funky graph, you may want to check out uh, Ray's Astrophotography. He's got a video on there. If you've gone through these settings and you're still having a weird looking graph, you may have to check your uh, backlash on your focuser. And there's a way to uh, check that and adjust it. So I'll put a link uh, to Ray's video there in the uh, in the comment section or in the information section there so you can check that out he does he goes into very good detail on checking the uh the backlash adjustment on it which uh, i haven't even tried i uh, just ran with it and it seemed to work pretty good so uh at least on the first couple of tests did but so nine data points come down five so far on the right side now we're making the uptick the uptick here which uh, is a far better graph than I've had before. Obviously, I did not have the correct step size in there. So this is looking pretty good. Again, not sure if it's actually supposed to be a U or a V. Everyone says a V, and that seems to be what SGP says as well. So that's a pretty accurate uh, looking V right there, if I do say so myself. So looks like the step size was accurate. It did work. So yeah, look at that. Bam, X marks the spot. So uh, there we go. That's how we get step size figured out. Looks good. I'll test it a couple more times uh, on tonight's target, which I am going after. What am I going after? The Soul Nebula. Uh, doing the Soul Nebula here. So uh, once I get over to that region and I get done running Guiding Assistant and everything, then I'll go ahead and do another autofocus just to make sure that. Uh, that it's good. Look at that. It's a nice V. It's, it's even like a cursive V. There we go. All right. Close it out. Uh, and that's pretty much it. Looks like I got some good pinpoint stars here, and I'm going to get it rocking and rolling. All right, guys.